Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel, Enchantress Tarot. This is our reading for the week of August 12th, 2018 to August 18, 2018. The sun is still in Leo and we just came off that super moon that was a new moon solar eclipse. So I hope that went well and you remember to do your intentions. I do have the video up for that if you haven't seen it and when you could set your intentions. So let's see, I'm using my Ulan deck and we start off with the sun. Now the sun in the tarot is the sun and the sun does rule the sign of Leo. We are in Leo. So I really feel like this is a kind of nice feeling with the energy because where it is located, we will be leaving Leo and entering Virgo. So when we look at this, this is about everything going your way. This is a lot, a lot of um, success in everything you've been working on. This is a completion of an endeavor. If you were working on something with school or your job, a relationship, this is you achieving everything. Your goals are victorious. It is also about illumination. It's like an epiphany, like the light bulb went off in your head so that you have clarity. You have clear thoughts, clear emotions. Your energy is renewed. It's like your day in the sun. You are revitalized and re-energized. This is a beautiful energy that is somewhat childlike. But since this card shows more of a mature person, they're saying this is a recharged energy, like, you know, you got your batteries recharged and you're feeling liberated, a freedom. Um, there's more self-awareness now, and we know with the eclipse energy, we were talking about obscuring our vision forward to see the now and where you see yourself now and how does now relate to the past and what are you going to do to change these things so you can make quantum leaps into the new? So with the sun card, that is auguring that. And the 19 is the prince of heaven. We have a one of beginnings and nine of endings. And together there are 10. We're starting a new cycle. So let's look at what the uh, culmination of Leo and this eclipse that's going to carry energy for five and a half to six months. There's going to be major changes in your life. Like I said, the light bulb's gone off. Now you see it. All along you may have not been doing the best to get what you want or things didn't line up for you. This is alignment. This is all your hard work, your dedication, paying off your struggles, um, overcoming those things that were very uh, arduous for you and painful. The sun is shining on you and you're going forward. You know, you've got the wand here, that renewed energy, that staff. You're very grounded, you're feeling empowerment and creativity, oranges and yellows there. This is a great time for you to start all these new things in your life, especially the new chapter in your life. I'm just looking on the breastplate on this one. They show, I can't tell if that's a sun or a, or a line. It's probably a sun. So we definitely know that you are seeing things clearly, like it's blinding you. You know what I mean? It's so highly visible, like you can't, but you can't ignore it you have to see it the sun is blaring you in the face with this like hello and you're going to take this energy and this is about creativity and new life for you and that's a major arcana so this is something you have to learn right now many of us have been putting off these things through our own thoughts words and behavior and then we have the hierophant which is a different energy with the Hierophant. This is Taurus about bringing things to ground. Taurus know how to manifest and bring things to earth. So were you being stubborn before or was someone else being stubborn in a situation? Um, are we holding on to old stubborn ways, old patterns? This is all about releasing patterns too with this eclipse. And this week's energy, you're going to feel the energy, will you the, whether you like it or not. They're saying, we're going to be in your face with this. Spirit's going to keep throwing these lemons at you until you see there's so much more that they want for you and you want for yourself. They love you so much. You know, a host of angels surround you all and every day. They're so excited when you're up to start your day. You've got to get out of the old paradigms that you're in, the way you're thinking, feeling, and believing about yourself and your life because you are deserving of a joyous, blissful, happy life with the best of everything. So this card they're saying for you in a different context of what it is, to be at calm peace instead of panic and worry and fear. We want you to know that it's uncomfortable to accept change and they know that. But the change is going to lead you to everything that you desire. 
Now, knowing Taurus is a fixed sign as is Scorpio, and so is Leo and Aquarius, this eclipse is affecting more so people with those strong energies in the fixed signs. And even for some people, fire signs, which would be your Leo and Aries and Sag, the fixed signs would be your Leo, Aquarius, and your Taurus and Scorpio. So a lot of you may be feeling this energy highly intensified from the last few months and the last eclipse to now and going forward. This is saying this has got to change and, and let it go and don't be stubborn to hang on to these things. You want to make changes and don't worry about what society expects from you or well, old beliefs and old systems. It's time to embrace the new for yourself. And here it is with the Ace of Cups. So this is new love a new business, new happiness, new joy. This is a new spark of emotions that are overflowing for bliss, for joy, for love, for happiness. It could also be some of you having a lot more dreams and be affecting you a lot. And um, even in, in your waking hours, in your waking day, you're daydreaming, you know, you're fuzzing along and starting to, well, what was that? You know, you, you got some vision or a message through something like in a daydream or as you're doodling you're writing stuff it could be like scrying so a lot of you might be tapping into that psychic energy you have and we all have but you're feeling uplifted right now this is a new beginning for you for joy bliss and happiness this is invitations to love invitations to socialize invitations to have great emotional experiences in your life the aces hold all the possibilities you see how the cup is overflowing this is your emotions overflowing into this cool water that is still so you're not rippling with of, of uh, emotions that are painful this is a beautiful calm that brings life out of the darkness. Remember the cards going back a few uh, readings ago, maybe even a month ago, the elephant was stuck in the mud. And I said, we have to be stuck in the mud sometimes and don't resist. Well, this is the life that's growing from all the time you were stuck in the mud and did nothing and had to just concentrate on being where you are in the mud and thinking of what you wanted. This is it starting to come out of the muck and mire and growing for you. So we know with the Knight of Pentacles, it doesn't go quickly. I'm sorry, but it just, it goes kind of slow and steady. It's not happening fast enough for you. And even like me, I'm in Aries and I want everything like now. Geminis want it yesterday, but Aries and, and energy is a lot of us want everything faster. I get it. I sometimes ask spirit the same question, you know, and they're, they're like holding their head in their hands saying, how many times are you going to ask me this, Mary Jo? It's coming but in divine timing that's meant for you. So it's gonna be different for all of us. Some of us will see that the culmination is now after waiting a long period. Some of us are going to have to wait a bit longer. Um, but we know with the Knight of Pentacles, this is reliable, resolute. This is a solid foundation that's being established for you. Lovingly, you're looking on your pentacle, you're focused on what you want, and you're, you're plodding along to get there. I like the colors here that embody here our beautiful yellows and orange. You're going to be getting empowered from this experience and some creative energy out of it, um, but definitely learning how to be patient and grounded. Oh, that word patient. That is a hiccup for a lot of us. But it is saying definitely with the night we know that this is action being taken. So for you, this is a journey right now. You are embarking on this new journey, okay, if you embrace it, to change the old patterns in your life, to have a reliable, stable, steadfast, solid future, that's going to be the big payoff for you as long as you keep concentrating on it. I asked Spirit too because they kept saying to pull a card, so I did. I pulled one of the Oracle cards from the Enchanted Map Tarot. And this is what you received. I don't think I got this one. Oh, maybe we did a while back. Storm Field, number nine. Nine we know is a culmination of all the other single digits. So we know something's coming to an end. So we know an ending and a beginning. We talked about that here. Something new is coming for us. And you see there's a path. And the path is kind of winding along into the storm. Blocking what is coming and then there's another path here so we're going to say there are other paths that we could take we could avoid the storm and face it another day or go headlong into the storm not all storms are going to bring um, bad news and bad things sometimes we have to go through the storm to see the rainbow 
Okay, so let's see what it says, storm fields. This too shall pass, okay. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things you've left unattended may be cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs release, just as a storm in nature must break. For these events occur, let's change this, when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. That's what's been going on in most of our lives. We're all going through what this is just saying. And with seven planets in retrograde and, and all that energy, we're being forced to review things in our life that each of these planets represent in our solar system and in the energy that it affects us with. Not all storms are destructive, rather they serve sense and nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensued. Just remember, that wherever it is stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. Wow. The sun is right here, the sun card, and the sun will shine for you. We're coming off of a supermoon, which means the, the sun is closer to the earth, but it was a new moon, so we plant seeds. The winds will take these seeds out of the storm, out of the tumultuous energy, and spread them for your desires to be planted elsewhere so that things will grow in your life and come to you. So it's not always bad news when you see a storm. Yes, even things that happen in a storm that wreck things, like they said, chaos, what happens? You repair, you rebuild, you start anew. And that's what the energy is for this week going forward. Many of us are going to embark on this new adventure in our life. If we could let go of the old patterns and being stubborn to hang on to old belief systems, old traditions, or even the people around us that are causing that, and accept the cup, the grail of what can be, what will be as long as you allow it to come into your life. And know to be patient and that these things are not always happening overnight. And out of the storm shall come the, come the calm and the peace in our lives. And from that, we've grown, right? We've experienced so much. And in this lifetime, the people that are here now, courageous is the soul who is here at this time, in this earth, to experience so much pressure in their emotions, their physicality, their spirituality, and their mental realms. We are really, really ascending and pushing our soul forward. Thank you, God, for this beautiful reading. And thank you to everyone who's subscribing. If you haven't, please do subscribe and hit the little bell on the top to get notification of my videos. And if you're not getting them, put it in the comments below. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Um, and thank you again once and, and for everyone who's been with me from the beginning and staying through with me on this journey. I appreciate you and I always wish you the best.